you guys, Tracy here again, uh, doing a recipe share a day late, um, but I like to keep on track with that stuff. I am doing a um, crock pot version of a spicy uh, Mexican flavored um, meatloaf because I'm spraying my uh, KitchenAid bowl. I don't want to heat up my whole kitchen with the summertime heat um, and stuff. And I'm making a really large batch right now because um, we just bought our hamburger in bulk from Sam's Club. So um, I want to go ahead and um, and make an extra large batch. batch. My husband asked for meatloaf tonight. And, um, one of his favorite dishes. So, and I never make it the same twice. So, I thought, okay, well, that would be a good recipe to share on here. You know, with the summertime heat, everybody's busy. Crack pots are great. Um, and for this video, for all intents and purposes, I dehydrate my own. These are green and red peppers. Sweet ones. Um, and... I'm going to be using some dehydrated mushrooms I've done and some dehydrated celery. Um, all those are very easy to uh, dehydrate in your, if you have a dehydrator. Um, and like I said, I'm notorious for not measuring things out. And you guys know that. So um, I know you'll forgive me. I'm using up some old bread. We don't go through very much bread. And I just tear mine, I always double check, make sure there's no mold. And there is none. This is just a, a 12 grain bread, uh, wheat. And I'm going to go ahead and just crumble it up. It's pretty dry, it's been out for a while. Um, crumble it up in my bowl while I talk to you fine people. Um, this is still not feeling real perky, I haven't eaten lunch yet. Probably about one o'clock, but I'm getting there. They get dressed, you know, making the best of it. You know, after this, I gotta divide up all the hamburger and all the cheese. So, you know, you know how that goes. Uh, but uh, yeah, and what I, why I'm making an extra large uh, uh, dish of this, and this will do us for three meals, is I'm going to freeze some of it after it's cooked tonight. I'm going to divide up uh, two thirds of it and refreeze it, repackage it and freeze it and label it, of course, and put it down in the freezer downstairs. Um, so for those nights that I don't feel like cooking or, you know, we don't really have time, I can just get that out. You know, that'll be nice. You know, because you get sick, you don't feel like cooking, it's nice to have some of that in there. I'm trying to decide if I have enough bread in here or not. I don't put a whole bunch of bread in my meatloaf because of the carbs. So I think that'll be like, that'll be enough. That was about five slices of 12 grain. I'm probably using about three pounds of hamburger. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, uh, put in my eggs. Now, since I'm using three pounds of hamburger and I'm using dehydrated vegetables, I need to make up for the moisture content. So I'm going to be using three eggs. And no, I don't have the wonderful um, option of having chickens. We're not zoned for it, so um, hopefully, hoping someday we get zoned for it. That would be awesome. Even though my husband says we're not doing chicken. We'll see. But anyway, three eggs in there. And I need to save the shells. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in um, my spices before I put in my hamburger because I just want them to mix better. So for this, um, I'm using... Uh, Taco seasoning. Yeah, I said again, however much you like. 
I'm probably putting in a good fourth of a cup. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Woo wee! Oh man, now I want to sneeze like crazy. Mmm. Wow. Don't put your face over when you're doing it. Can't tell. I just want to sneeze like crazy. Okay. Um, I'm using them garlic and herb. Uh, and I'm probably using a good couple tablespoons of that. See, I'm learning <laughs> of that. I'm just going to stop this and lift this up so I can add these spices without getting a full face of it. Um, let's see. I'm going to use some garlic salt. Somebody not. Please stop, <laughs> Missy Mama, <laughs> and the senile dog, which I'm never gonna get to quit. So, might as well give up on that one, right? I'm gonna use some paprika. Um, again for that nice zest. Um, I'm gonna use some fresh ground pepper, of course. And I'm going to use a whole packet of Lipton onion soup mix. I love to put this in with a roast. Um, and yeah, you can make your own. It's just I bought this on special um, at Sam's Club. But I put in a whole packet. Um, I like it meatloaf or a roast. Um, you have to kind of compensate for the salt content in it, of course. Um, all right. All of that is in there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in my peppers. And like I said, I would normally use fresh because I do have fresh right now. But I just wanted to kind of demonstrate, you know, how one can use a dehydrated vegetable. You know, and it is a big time saver, saver and money saver if you're, if you're if, you know, this is farmer market time. And if you're lucky enough to get some of that. Um, so, you know. I just put in a couple good handfuls of my peppers. Now remember, this is going to at least double, if not grow three times the size. So you need to be wary of that. You know, a couple big hands of the peppers. You don't have to add mushrooms. We just like mushrooms. So, you know, again, I'm gonna put in a couple nice handfuls. I try to bulk these recipes up, like I said, with vegetables and take out some of the carbs, you know, so my husband can still have some of the recipes he really loves. Um, and I'm probably just going to put like about a half a handful or so of the celery. Um, that'll do it. And to that, I'm going to add a half a can of you can use any kind of tomato sauce, sauce you want. Like I said, I bought this at Sam's Club, have to be on sale. Um, this is 15 ounce, or you can use fresh tomatoes, you know, if you want to do that. Like I said, since I'm not feeling real hot today, I'm kind of taking an easy way out. Now, I'm going to put half this can in now, you know, with the spices. Yeah. You could use salsa instead, if you like that. Meal sauce. Anyway, gonna let that kind of grind up. Woo! Wow! I just got a big blob of uh, tomato sauce on my glasses there. It done spunked me! Anyway, this will be nice because uh, that way I can just kind of wrap and I'm using up some instant potato that I bought on sale and then I'm just gonna go to the fresh. Uh, but uh, so I'll just do some instant potatoes, mashed potatoes with this, and um, uh, I think I'm gonna cook some carrots for that. But anyway, that's probably ground up enough. I mean, not ground up, mixed up enough. And I got to use my kitchen aid because I'm feeling very lazy. This is, I'm gonna move that bread out of the way, I didn't end up using that. Um, 
This is a hamburger. This is probably about a fourth of the log that we buy there from Sam's Club. We buy it once a month, like I said. I'll get, I think it's a 15 pound log or something like that. Anyway, um, uh, I'll get 14, 15 meals out of it. So I'll repackage it. I buy it once a month. Um, and another thing is this month I have some extra because I didn't use very much last month. So, yeah, so I'm just kind of squeezing it out of the tube. And yes, I washed my hands right before I started this. Um, and throwing it in this mixer here. You know. And I'm going to be putting this crock pot on um, medium. Like Charlie. Right? So. Anyway, so. That's all in there. I'm going to keep my hands over the top so it won't come out while it's mixing. Um, get this all mixing. Yeah. Um, it'll be nice to let this cook all day. You know, I hate heating up the oven. I mean, I hate to heat it up. You know, it's still fairly hot in here about 5, 6 o'clock. I mean, it's not hot, but if I run the oven, it's going to get hot. I don't want to have to run more cooler than, than necessary and cost more money. Um, I hate for my husband to come home and the house is hot. You know, I like I like the house to be nice. <laughs> as clean as, 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 as I, as, you know, fairly clean, at least pick, picked up well. Um, and it helps to be nice and, and quiet, sedate, calming, um, nice dinner, that kind of stuff when he comes home. I said, I'm just old fashioned that way. We both are. So, <clears throat> anyway, this is mixed up well. Now, I've already sprayed my crock pot. You're not going to be able to see this part because, uh, the crock pot bowl is down, down on this chair here. Like I said, I don't, this is a small table. I used to have a much bigger table in this kitchen, but it just was too big. It just, you know, for two of us normally, um, you just had no room in this kitchen at all. And we moved a dresser out here that we use it kind of like, um, drawers for utensils and, and, uh, you know, some of the spices and stuff. And then, you know, I repainted it and everything. And then, we moved a great big wooden pantry closet in here. So anyway, you gotta take your paddle off. Yeah, and now I need to switch a few things around here, guys. Bear with me. I thought I had this all kind of planned out. Anyway, what I'm gonna do is let me get this cut pot oh, up here. No, Mama. Okay. I'm going to put half of this meatloaf in this crock pot. For now. And pat it all down. Is that about half? Yeah, that's about half. Um, I'm going to pat it all down really well. You know. <clears throat> it smells really good, guys. This hamburger is very, very lean. This is that stuff I was telling you guys about in my last video. That is 90% lean that I get from Sound Club. And now what I'm going to do, in, and like I said, you saw I put all the, the spices and stuff in it. You could add hot sauce, whatever. Jalapenos if you're my friend Mary. <laughs> she likes her jalapenos. And she can tolerate it. Um, uh... You know, or the humper, he can tolerate the spices. Um, but um, now you can put a nice layer of whatever kind of cheese. Now, you know, and spread that all around. I'm probably using about a pound of cheese. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, we like our cheese. You guys know this. Um, now, like I said, spread that all around, make a nice layer. You know, kind of think of it kind of like as um, uh, uh, if you were doing a lasagna kind of. You know, could be using meat. You know, and, and vegetables and stuff. So, you know, instead of the noodles. And now I'm going to put in the other half of the meatloaf and top it again with, or, and then put the rest, the other half of my can of, um, um, tomato sauce and then use the rest of the cheese. And then I'm going to cook this on medium for about five hours, you know, and like I said, this will make, this I'm going to make three good meals, and like I said, then that way I uh, won't have to worry about, you know, a couple of times cooking, yeah, spread the rest of that tomato sauce right there on top. Everybody loves my meatloaf, and one of the things is, is that is a lot of people don't add enough moisture to your meatloaf, and it gets kind of dry, and so, you know, like I said, and then just sprinkle the rest of this cheese here on top, so it'll be nice and cheesy and spicy, and, you know, merry. To throw some jalapenos on top for decoration and inside and it would be so good and then we have to go visit your parents like you're doing today girlfriend when you come home it'd be all done mary should shoot me some recipes that she knows maybe i could handle cooking and i would show you guys unless she doesn't do her own video which would be a hint anyway that's that that's the recipe Looking for a paper towel. Hands are great. But that's the recipe. I'll get this cooking. And um, then dinner done. So I hope you guys are having a great day. I just wanted to get that recipe share uh, out because I was thinking about my husband was asking about cooking meatloaf. And I thought, well, I ought to just share that with you guys. So remember that I think you're awesome and I love you. And I will talk to you later. Bye.